Hi, I'm Jeff Henderson from Kate Owen Gallery in Roselle. Kate Owen Gallery was set up about 10 years ago by the original owner, Kate Owen herself, who was an artist. Uh, she set it up to be a studio for her own work, actually non-Indigenous art. The first piece of art that Kate Owen ever sold through her gallery of Indigenous art was supplied by myself. If we fast forward six years, I actually acquired the gallery from Kate when she was ready to retire. By that time, Kate Owen Gallery had become uh, one of Australia's largest dedicated Indigenous art galleries. Kate Owen Gallery has a studio in Alice Springs. It's, a, it's an interesting setup. It's where Indigenous artists actually come and work with us in to produce some of the magnificent art that you see in the gallery here. So about 60 or 70 per cent of the, the art in our gallery comes from that studio. The studio is set up to allow artists to come in from all outlying communities to do the work in this beautiful environment here where everything's supplied for them. The artists come from communities really from a long way away. They come as far over into the Western Australia border area, um, up north, uh, down south from South Australia, from an area called the APY lands, and right over to the Queensland border. So various times they'll come into Alice Springs to be able to do the work. Our studio in Alice Springs works with around 150 different Indigenous artists. So we provide the paint and the linen for the artists and so that they're put in a safe place and a comfortable place where they can just express their beautiful stories that date back 60,000 years, some of them. That art then is taken from that studio and delivered down to the gallery here at Kate Owen. The studio contributes to the Indigenous art community by creating a space where the artists can come in from community and do their craft in a safe environment and then what they've earned can be sent back to extended members of their family um, in their communities. It also means that they can have exposure to the wider world not being too far away from home. The customers that I've been involved with over the last seven or so years have come from all over the world but predominantly Europe and America although I have sent work to Israel and South America and places like Greenland and Iceland and I must say too, never had one problem with the art arriving safely and in beautiful condition. We really deal with end-to-end -end in the art consumer market from people who are interested in smaller pieces such as we see behind us all the way through to major collector's items. Dulcie Long Pula is a really, really interesting example of an artist with whom we work. Um, I worked with Dulcie's mother, Jeannie Pachara, since the moment almost we set up our art studio in Alice Springs way back at the beginning of 2008. So she was one of my foundation artists and then along comes her daughter many years later. And so it's quite a nice story. It fits in with the way stories are passed from mother to daughter and what we're seeing in our studio now is the relationship with artist parents is now flowing down through the generations. So we've got a really, really lovely relationship with Dulcie and we're very, very proud to say that we've recently done uh, a solo exhibition with Dulcie, her first exhibition anywhere, just last month. For Cato and Gallery, the choice of Pack and Send was a very, very natural one. Pack and Send from a service point of view is fantastic for the gallery. Why? because it makes it easy for us. It's a great solution, not only for us as a gallerist though, and what's really, really important is for our clients. From a service point of view, Pack and Send offers us a real end-to-end -end product. Very easy for us. We simply make a call to Des and his team, they come, they collect the works from us, and hey presto, and a few days later, those works are delivered to our clients. Very, very important to us the care that Pack and Send show when they're packing those works and also the great client interface that they carry on from us through to the delivery of those artworks. We know when that artwork leaves our gallery that it's in safe hands. That's enormously important but also to our customers. Many of them are extremely nervous about the transport of these very, very valuable artworks whether it's from Roselle to Manly, or whether it's from Roselle to the United Kingdom or to China or to the USA. So it really helps us to be able to assure our clients that those artworks are going to be in the best hands possible. Underpinning everything that Des and the team do at Pack and Send is this fantastic can-do attitude. 
the great service that provided the solutions, always solutions oriented. A lot of businesses that we deal with as a gallerist are problem orientated. Pack and Send are solution orientated. And I know with Pack and Send that the customer can rely on them. I can rely on Pack and Send. So that's fantastic. Good personal interaction, good personal service. And that really defines Pack and Send versus other shipping companies in my experience.